a week 13 C fix race. Green white checkered. What could go wrong? Hello everyone and welcome to Michigan first official iRacing race in a while. We're racing the trucks because they have the new handling model. We're racing online 2.6 strength of field. So coming back with a pretty um, intense group. We're the number 21 car. My goal is still to one day get up to 2.5k I rating, I rating, but not gonna have too big of an expectation today because it's our first race back. Hopefully we can do something. I'm more just wanting to feel out this handling model, see if I even want to run the trucks. Hoping for less cautions, hoping for less just lining up drafting chaos, but we'll see at the race. So I forgot to turn on the I rating gain or loss on your guys' screen. But currently at 14th place, I gain zero I rating but lose zero I rating. So I seem to have qualified perfectly where I want to. So that tells me we should just run our own race right now. People are probably going to wreck up front. And then, uh, yeah, if we run our own race, we should be should be in a good position here's hoping for the best though i'm really hoping for not too many cautions and it turns out there is unlimited tires so we can just change our tires pretty every every time if we wanted to so we'll see about that about to go green one more make sure to turn off the fuel all right here we go Still not used to the side drafting, so we're gonna be careful at the start here. Green, green, green. Just lap one. Not a great start anyway, so no need to be aggressive. Inside. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Getting a little loose, but we're okay. We're okay. Knew we would get loose there. Goal was to survive, and that's what we do. We're just gonna keep it chill. Keep it chill till the last 15 laps. People die bombing, it's all good. Don't wanna get loose on exit. There's already people wrecking up front. Let's watch out, let's try to get past the wreck. Let's slow down, and we survive. Road is closed. Very nice, very nice. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Left us 11. Carbide. Where's the 11 car? Catch up 14. Car. So the looseness of everyone did come into effect. People aren't used to this new handling with the trucks yet. So maybe there will be a lot of cautions this race, but hopefully, hopefully as the season goes on, people will get used to the handling and there won't be as many cautions. The pit road is now open. Way too early to pit right now though. We're coming back to the restart. So when I was practicing this, my lap time eventually dropped by two seconds. After not pitting, I didn't pit this round, but definitely going to pit if there's another caution, I would think. Although we've only run less than one green flag lap. We're starting on the outside. I didn't really study this track yet, so I don't know which line's faster at the moment with the new tire model. So we're really just feeling it out. Still plenty of racing left. Although it's not a long race, but plenty of time to still learn, and we're already 12, which gives us 17 I rating. About to go green. So we're in the positive. Here we go. Time to focus up. Keep it safe though, and see what the we can do. Oh, and the 12 car's already poking on the side. Green, green, green. And we're green. That was a solid jump off the line there. The car Able to tuck in inside. Not a bad run right there. 
Solid. We'll play it safe. Don't want to run into people. Almost rear-ended him. Got a loose, but we're okay. I think we're faster than this car ahead unless he's just tire saving. But we're gonna try to be smart with our moves. That car outside really quick. He's got a lot of speed. We're gonna tuck in. We'll let the 18 go. He's kind of aggressive. I'm getting off the throttle because I'm playing it safe, but these other cars are just trying to really drive through. I don't want to rear end the car in front, so I'm getting off the throttle. These cars on the side are taking advantage. All good. I will never regret playing it safe. I'd hate to punt someone and ruin both our races. Car is starting to get tight. Was not feeling like that on a clear track, but the dirty air is really affecting the handling. Let's see if we can make a move here on the inside. See if we can make it stick on the bottom. A little loose, but all good. Ah, that bottom line did not work. It's all good. Oh. Now we're stuck on the bottom. Oh, it's loose on the bottom here. All right, all right. We're going to move a groove up. We're going to move a mo groove up when we can. Also been trying to tire save, so if this stays green, maybe we can make up some spots. The car in P3, just set the fastest lap, 40.111. Definitely more grip and smoother driving on this high line, and look at that exit speed. I don't want to pass on the inside though, so I'm just going to tuck in right here. Go. Oh, that dirty air. Really making the car tight. Got good momentum. Let's go on this guy's outside, see what we can do. He's going to try to block us for sure. No, he doesn't. Car's getting loose. We're sliding a lot, but it's all good. Oh, the high line's the way to go. Look at that momentum. Clear. Oh, it got jammed up here. Inside. We're gonna try to pass the 10. Do we lost a lot of speed with the 10's dirty ear cutting us off. And we're three wide. This is not where I want to be. We're bailing out. We're bailing out. We're letting them go. We're just trying to survive. So the race is still pretty tight knit, but it's not full throttle, super speedway, double line the whole time type situation. Oh, it's so tight up here. I think I figured out one and two, but three and four are still tricky. That was pretty good right there. Get a good run off the corner. We could pass on the bottom, but I don't really want to. Let's see. We're going to crisscross him, maybe. Oh, great move right there through the corner. Let's go. That was good. Very nice. This is fun. These trucks are actually a good time. 
You can make some sick moves in the corner now instead of just having to draft your way past. That was really fun right there. The leader is running 41 points. three wide here could be dangerous. We're really gaining on people now with clean air. And we've caught up to the pack. Can we pass on the inside here, crisscross him? Didn't feel good about that, not a lot of momentum. And I don't want to get stuck on the bottom line, so we'll ride up here. We'll be patient. Oh, contact up front. Cars are really slidey now. Ten laps into the run. The car is so tight and loose at the same time in three and four, really just trying to figure out how to get speed here. Don't seem to have enough pace to make any moves. Everyone seems kind of have, has fallen in line. Riding high on the wall. It's not gonna be enough though. We gotta be patient. Although maybe we have some speed. Not quite, not quite. Might need to start tapping on the brakes to get some rotation, but it seems like we got plenty of rotation right there. Maybe the high line is not the way to go as they are taking it kind of wide and the 16s coming in. Sixteen is going to get a lot of momentum. We're going to try to make him pass on the inside. A lot of bumping and shoving up ahead. Could be chaos. Still there. Clear. Oh, it's the 19. My bad. Oh, and the 19 loses it. He is pushing way too hard. I actually got on the brakes a little bit. I think getting on the brakes might be what I have to do here. But I kind of think there might be a wreck up ahead. These guys are really driving too wide and getting close. Good slide right there. Whoa. Come on. It's just so tight, but so loose. Man, that's tough. Right now we're losing nine I rating. We need to gain one more spot to be neutral. The car is really Driving funky now. Tight but loose on exit or on throttle. You just gotta figure it out. I like it though. I like that it's not as predictable as before. You really need to play, play around and be dynamic with how you drive. And you have to find the line that works for you. This is very, very nice, actually. Very dynamic. A lot of impro improv you got to do here to figure things out. A lot of patience needed as well. I feel like the guys that are really good at ARCA are now going to be really, really good at the trucks. 
because you didn't, you need a lot of throttle control there. Especially the Gen 4 guys, I bet. The dirty air seems to make passing tough for everybody, though. Oh, 22 into the wall. We're going to duck and dodge. <laughs> That's the spot we're looking for. Now we are not losing I rating. We'll take it. See if we can gain some momentum and stay ahead of him. Losing the draft though. 10 laps is still plenty of time for the 22 car to catch up. Great job, Ten to go. Oh, the car is so loose on the exit if you don't straighten it out early enough. But, definitely a lot of other people are struggling with that as well, so glad it's not just me. Whoa! Really loose right there. I mean, the car is loose and slidey, but it's savable. I'm not the best at drifting around cars, but... I'm able to save it, so if I can save it, surely a lot of people can. And you know what? I was worried there'd be a lot of cautions after that first one and people not used to the handling, but it hasn't been a caution since. So there could be a lot of hope in the C-Class truck series, in the Fix series, that, uh... The races are going to be clean with passing and going to be fun. Of course, I only made that one pass, but that one pass was very, very satisfying. We are not able to gain here on the 17, even with the draft. It's so tight, but I want to try to ride around the bottom maybe? Gotta try something different. Nah, it looks like the bottom did worse. Might be stuck here at 14th. But we'll take it. Whoa, a car goes way down to the bottom, completely loses it. They're going to come back up because this be a wreck. Nope. Tried getting completely off throttle there. That didn't do anything. I'm just trying different things. Trying to see what works in 3 and 4 because the car is just has not felt good there. Maybe I just gotta keep driving the opposite line of this car ahead. Try to get out of the dirty air, although I think I'm still pretty far away from them to have dirty air. And bottom line, not feeling good here in three and four. We're gonna stick with the middle while getting on the brakes and kind of playing around with the throttle and brake. Nothing. I cannot gain on these guys. Stuck on no man's land here. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is one second. Oh, one and two felt good right there. Gained some time, I think. Now to just figure out three and four. I think I might need to aim for the corner a little earlier in 3 and 4. Get it lined up kind of on the straight, do a little flick. 
because the car just has no grip there. Let's see if going entering the corner a little early is the move. We'll do a little flick to toss it. See if it'll stick. Nope, will not stick. But the car didn't get loose that time. Stayed kind of tight. Oh, we got a wreck up ahead. We're going to slow down, not be involved. We're going to avoid them. Very clean. There we go. With two laps to go, we are going to need to pit, though. Obviously, the tire's driving like crap now. And I don't think staying out is the answer. You will get passed right away. Hopefully, we can get a good pit stop here and not screw it up. I'm gonna try to break early because definitely we'll slide forward on the pit box with how worn these tires are. Gonna be cautious. Better to lose one spot being cautious than losing five spots being too aggressive. We've got a green white ticket finish after this caution. If I'm able to finish in 12, I'm happy. Plus 17 I rating for that. And take it. Jump. Gotta make sure we don't speed though. There we go. I think I did that pretty alright. And we actually gain a spot. So we gained a spot to that black car that pulled off. Maybe they had to log out or something. They could have just logged out in the pits though. And uh, we didn't lose a spot, which is very nice. If we can hold this 11th place, I'll be very happy. Although, at the start of the race, I got passed by a lot of people because I was trying not to be too aggressive. It's going to be a tough balance because you could easily wreck out of this thing. And even though the handling is different, it might still be the same truck mentality of everyone being super aggressive here at C-Fixed. I don't know. To play aggressive, to not. I don't know. All I need to do is finish 14th. Finish 13th if I want some eye rating. I have learned though the bottom line is not the way to go. You'll be lining up on the inside. But we will start on the bottom line. Oh boy, I'm nervous. There's just gonna be so much chaos. I don't know what to do, man. And these cold tires do make it a little more loose. Oh boy. A week 13 C fix race. Green white checkered. What? could go wrong. Thanks for joining me in this chaos. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching so far. Really appreciate it. Here we go. My gosh, I'm nervous. I'm shaking, man. We'll just have fun with it. Time to focus up. Off. Green flag, green flag. Green flag, and we're off. Running, Not a terrible start. Three, 
Oh, we got a wreck up front. He saves it. He say, "Oh, he blocks." Oh, and then he hit us. Oh, what was that guy doing? Oh. I thought we got past him. Man. Oh. Well, that sucked. I thought I thought we'd passed him. Might have not been that guy that hit us too, because I slowed down. Someone might have just drove through me. Man. Sad. Very curious about this replay. So, the orange car was the leader of the race. Looks like he gets spin in the rear. Starts coming up. I thought I dodged him. Oh, and then he did just turn into me. My gosh. <sighs> he didn't turn in any other time. Could have turned in here, could have turned in here, could have turned in here and lost it. But instead, he lost it right there. Well, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. But thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you at the next one.